Good afternoon, my students. I hope you are well. Obviously, I'm not here uh, today. I'm at home with my son who's not feeling well. Um, hopefully, I'll be back tomorrow. But in the meantime, I'm going to show you what I would like you to work on. Okay, so I'm going to move myself down here. Um, just as a heads up, I have slightly um, uh, rearranged uh, our Moodle page. It's not anything dramatic by any may means. The units aren't in boxes, but the units will be in, in order from top to bottom. Okay, so um, it should be relatively easy. We're done with unit one, of course, and what we've been doing for the last two days has been vocabulary. Um, if you haven't finished that, that would, today would be a really good day to finish that, okay? But um, I'd really like you to take, start taking a look at uh, the natural state, okay? So the natural state, unit two, where our vocabulary was, we should have already looked at our objectives. We've done the vocabulary in your vocabulary journal. Remember, you don't need to worry about the people on there, but you do need to know the 14. Again, this is the longest list that we will ever have. Um, but so it's really good practice. Okay. All right. So finish that. The next thing um, are the places to know. This is the map that I would like you to create. Actually, I've created the map for you, but you have to find the places and mark it. All right. So it says the list of places to know is on the second page. It says label the blank Arkansas map with the places to know on the second page. Note, you will need to draw in the Buffalo River and Bayou Bartholomew. Hmm. Also, and here's, uh, here's the things that you really need to, to pay attention to. Also, Grand Prairie is a region and not a town. So you're going to have to do some research. You're going to have to Google some stuff. Okay. Also, it says Napoleon. It says a town. It is a town that does not exist anymore. So I can't wait to tell you a little more about that. So Napoleon is a town, was a town in Arkansas, but it has disappeared. So Google it and it should be able to show you where that is. Okay. So in order to get to the map, you're just going to click on the places to know and a pop up should come come up. So you're going to maximize this and then make it bigger course. Um, but you see the K, this, it says open with Cami. This is going to let you actually draw on the map. So it's kind of cool actually. All right. So it may ask you to link it with Google. Hey, look at that. This might be something I did earlier. I was testing it. I'm just going to delete that <laughs> and I'm going to delete that. All right. Okay. So we've got a blank map and your second page is your list of things to find. Okay. So, um, the first thing on the list is Bayou Bartholomew. I'm going to actually do this one for you, but you still have to do it as well. So if you minimize this, I've given you some resources, Arkansas rivers, lakes, and water resources. So click on that. And if you blow it up and you can actually, you, this is where all the major lakes, rivers, and water resources for Arkansas. So if you are taking a look for Bayou Bartholomew, I'll tell you down, it's down south. It's past the Arkansas River here. Okay. It actually starts right here. From here, you see where it says Bayou, Bayou Bartholomew? It's really windy. Do you even know what a bayou is? You should, since it's now one of your vocabulary words. I found out, I think it's based off of an Indian language, Choctaw or Cherokee. Can't remember. Here's Bayou Bartholomew. Okay. So what we're going to do now is go back to our map and we're going to draw Bayou Bartholomew in. Okay. So where's the, what you're going to do? Oh, here's the drawing tool. So I'm going to draw, I've got blue selected for a river, I guess. Okay. And you can change the thickness. Oh, I'll just go eight. I'm not sure how thick that'll be. So, and it was somewhere around here. So I'm going to go, oh, that's really thick. Okay. Can I undo? Control Z. Yeah. Control Z will undo it. All right. Let's how about one. Let's see how big one is. Doodle, 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 doodle. Perfect. Okay. So that's going to be my Bayou Bartholomew. It actually doesn't stop in Arkansas. It keeps on going to Louisiana, but that's fine. 
Okay. So that one is number one. So I may just label this. So I got a text box. Ooh, I'm going to make it red. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to make a text box. I'm going to put it here. I'm going to make it number one. Whoops. One. Can I bold that? Maybe I should make it black. I'm going to highlight that and put it black. Oh. All right. So there's number one. Bayou Bartholomew. What's next on the list? Oh, the Buffalo River, something that we might be more familiar with. Okay, so we're going to go back to our drawing tool and I'm going to scroll up. Okay, well, it's not on there because this is just, this is the Arkansas River, by the way. <laughs> okay. Is it on there? No, this is the Arkansas River. So you actually have to find the Buffalo River. So let's go back to our lakes, rivers, and water resources and see if you can find the Buffalo River. I'm going to let you do that, okay? All right, so I'm going to click out that. Let me look at the next thing. El Dorado. That is a town, and I actually have another resource for you. Political map of Arkansas. Political map will show you the county lines as well as major towns in this one anyway in Arkansas. And I believe I can blow this up a little bit. El Dorado, Smackover, Springdale are all on there. Whoa, that's big. Which are all on here as well. Okay. Okay, so El Dorado. Smack over Springdale, that resource can be used to create your um, up here. So you could either draw or actually put a shape, maybe like a, I'd probably just put a dot and then label it. You can either label it with a number that it corresponds to, or you can label it with, um, like if you wanted to actually put, by you Bartholomew on there you could so either way and then you can move it around if you want so I can make sure you make sure I know what you're talking about okay so once you're done and you filled in all eight locations I want you to save to Google Drive or it's gonna save to your Google Drive anyway but I'm gonna download it with all annotations because that's going to keep all my drawings and stuff so go ahead and do that okay it's processing it's going to say where would you like to do it okay so there it is i'm going to just take off that cami export you can leave it there i don't care you just have to be able to find it places to know got it so once you are done marking up the map then you're going to upload it okay so in order to do that you're going to click on the assignment places to know assignment it's going to take you here and it says make a submission it says it says friday august this is due friday don't worry about that i'm going to actually change that all right so again don't worry about that so you're going to add a submission I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to upload a file. I'm going to choose a file. You can click on recent since you're a Chromebook, but this is a PC, so, or Windows, sorry. Upload the file. There it is. I'm going to save changes, but there it is, submitted for grading. If it's green, it's good. If it's green, it's good to go. Okay, so that is what I want you to work on today. Also, I just want you to know that if, I, uh, if I'm if i able to, I will have Go Guardian on um, to just make sure that you are um, not getting distracted by other things. Okay, um, so this is for a grade, and um, I hope to see you tomorrow. Please remember our ROAR expectations in the classroom as well as in the school. Um, and I hope to be able to reward some of you with class dojo points. All right. See you when I see you.